Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk. I'm talking very quietly because it's um, just after 6.30 in the morning. It's a Sunday morning. Everyone's fast asleep, so I don't want to wake people up by uh, talking too loudly. I'm starting here by this rather interesting well, pair of little houses. They're weavers' cottages, apparently. That is where my son Billy and I have been staying. It's an Airbnb and it's a delightful Airbnb, I have to tell you. I'm in Castle Carey in Somerset, which is about eight miles from Shepton Mallet. And we came in here yesterday evening, had a, a quick shifty round. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get up early. I'm going to come out and I'll show you the lovely viewer this rather delightful um, old market town. It's a weaving town and in fact if I come over here you'll see there's lots of buildings like that that's behind me where the old weaving went on. There's some flax mills and things like that. Uh, the sun is just rising. Look at this delightful building. So there's a couple of particular things I want to show you. Um, I want to get round to the old lockup, which is a stunning building, a market hall, which also is a very beautiful building, and then I'm hoping to get round to the church and have a look at that. So let's go. Just wanted to show you these, more of these flax mills. I love the colour of the stonework, the brickwork, it's absolutely amazing. Look at that. Coming up now into the older part of the town, I'm just um, where my b and is, is, is just to the north. Look at these amazing mullioned windows behind me and this incredible stone. This, this colour stone is everywhere. That's a very proud house absolutely stunning and we get some Victorian building here up onto Bailey Hill and this is my first port of call up here on Bailey Hill is to have a look at the village lockup or the town lockup I should say just up here so there's apparently there's only four of these round houses in the country so it says built in 1779 for the pricely sum of 23 pounds and there it is just behind me so if you were a miscreant or you got up to no good you'd be locked up in here for the night it's a sort of temporary lock up Sadly, I can't go in. And not, you know, permanently to be locked up in there. I don't want that to happen, thank you. But what a beautiful and fascinating little building. It's lovely. I love it. That's the Museum of Country Domestic Life, it says there, which looks very nice. We come down this beautiful cobbled street. This is the advantage of getting up early on a Sunday when there's nobody around. You get these wonderful deserted um, landscapes. This is Four Street. And here, this is the market hall that I want to show you. This is an amazing building. Built, I think, in 1885. I'm just going to cross the street to get a better, a better view of it. Look at this. That is amazing, absolutely stunning. And I think the George Hotel must be up here. It's 
through this little alleyway, probably um, coaching horses and that sort of thing. I'm just going to go up around this corner a little bit, past the George. We're probably in there sorting out breakfasts for those that want it. Get a nice view of the market house from here. It's called Castle Carey because there is a castle, or at least there was a castle. Uh, it's now um, just the, the foundations of the castle. It stood on the hill, and I'm not quite sure where, above the town. I don't know whether it's uh, east, west, south or north. It just says it's above the town. I haven't got an OS map to double check that. Knight's Yard, look. Let's go up a little bit more here. These buildings are absolutely sumptuous. And this red, or this orangey yellow brickwork is utterly amazing. Come up here to the, what is that, the Stuckey's Bank. And then look, have a look here, behind me. Pitcher's Yard. You can see where the horses and carriages would have come through. That's amazing. Let's just go and have a quick look through Pitcher's Yard. Wow. where this goes I don't know pictures yard natural health clinic says there and then just into a yard I'll come back out again now there's a sign there it says castle rise and I guess the castle must have been that way to the well that must be to the southeast, I reckon. I've, I've come further uh, west now, and here I'm down heading towards the church, but there's this beautiful little pond which I think is fed by the river, and then the war memorial. Here you can see they're uh, commemorating the, the Great War, and then the Second World War. And that's looking back up to where I was with the market house. Slowly, the village is beginning to wake up, a few people with their dogs and what have you. But, I want to go and have a look at the church because I think that's going to be impressive if you can judge it from the houses and this uh, incredible local stone that's just enamoured me so much. I'm not sure how you get to the church, so it's a bit of potluck. I can see it though. I can see it over there in the distance. It's just across the road here. Castle Carey Community Primary School behind me. Very nice looking building that is. And then we'll go up these steps here to All Saints Castle Carey, it says. I assume there'll be a service today for those that are interested. A lovely yew tree here at the entrance. We'll walk up the pathway. It's all lit up by the early morning sun, which is terrific. And now if I pan the camera up, look at that there, amazing steeple. That's incredible. That's a crow, a very noisy crow. That's a beautiful entrance. Oh. Looks like they're doing some work here because they fenced it off. Just curious. Wow, let's get back and see if we can get a, a more spectacular view. And I guess from here, 
you can see beyond the church and you can see the ridge the sort of downland ridge it's not the downs but the sort of the hill oh wow that's a bit of luck how about that <laughs> that was giving me the quarter to the hour quarter to eight it is there's the magnificent yew tree lovely sight that is and here another entrance which I'm guessing is the south entrance actually ordinarily because the tower usually is in the west and I wonder if it's open no it's locked but a lovely door nonetheless well how about that wow look at that amazing face of the church and the architecture of this I don't know too much about it well I know nothing about it I'll be brutally honest with you but there we are thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this little impromptu um, look around Ca Castle Carey beautiful place um, the only thing that mars it is the number of for sale signs there seems to be a lot of properties for sale at the moment which is a bit peculiar but if you have the money it's a very quiet and delightful and very proud place it's certainly wonderful and I'm thrilled to have come anyway don't forget to follow like subscribe become a patron make a donation help me get out and explore more places and uh, thank you again for watching I'll see you on the next one until then bye bye